And what you've got here is a twin spindle, twin table machine. So if you've got high volume, you've pretty much got two machines in one here in this small footprint. We are on the SW stand and we're going to be looking and reviewing three machine types and also the AGVs that are moving around with people on the stand. This is technology at its very, very best. Dave, this looks a fantastic uh, machine tool here in such a small footprint. Can you explain to our viewers about what's going on there because the coolant is, is covering the screen at the minute? Yeah, so this is the W02 machine. This is twin spindle, twin table machine. This is one of my favourite machines, really. So the thing that I like about this is that the actual footprint of the machine, it's like five metres square footprint. And what you've got here is a twin spindle, twin table machine. So if you've got high volume, you've pretty much got two machines in one here in this small footprint. Now, I mean, this is really impressive. The footprint and the productivity that you get in such a small footprint and you've not even mentioned the automation so it's also got the automation built in exactly so not only have you got the twin spindle twin pallet system you're actually loading here with the six axis robot system so you can see you've got the second pallet over here so while the machine's running the robot will be loading and unloading this this part here this is a money printing machine, it's running 24-7 or capable of running 24-7 with the AGVs running around and you can see in here where the components are being loaded here and some of the raw billets are being picked up by the robot and if you come round here you can see all the different stacks of where the components are loaded and then the AGV comes up and picks them up. What a fabulous machine tool. Uh, Dave. Now, Dave, I can see Tom over there. I'm going to go and catch up with him and, and, and see what he's learned about the new BA711 space machine, the world premiere, but we'll be catching up with you shortly. Now, here it is again coming past and stopping. Now, Tom, um, have you been programming the machine? Well, I'd like to have a go, but I'm afraid I don't speak German. So <laughs> I can. I'm so afraid. what do you think about the machine so far? It looks very impressive with its horizontal spindle, huge working envelope. Oh, the working envelope is huge. You've got nearly 1400 mil, be 1200 mil, be 650 mil. So that is such a huge work envelope. Now, SW have been renowned for multi-spindle machines. This is the world premiere, the BA711 space machine as a single spindle machine to accommodate for these larger parts such as this. What about the, 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 the fifth axis configuration? If we move over here, Tom, and have a look inside the machine, what about this fifth axis configuration and the, and, and, and the, the dual um, rotaries on each side for the synchronization? Well, it's great that it's driven from both sides because it means you've got no backlash. And that means all your torrances will be more spot on because you're not one side isn't trying to pull the whole thing over so it makes it easier for the machine which then gives you a better and more tolerance part absolutely and swarf evacuation is a real bonus with having that horizontal spindle too tom i reckon i can see dave who's over on the next machine so i'll catch up with you shortly tom i don't know if you want to come over with me actually <laughs> yeah yeah i'll come over it's a great looking machine over and um there's one thing about this machine which you will notice and that's They've got it loading with a robot from above. I know, it's something that I noticed and uh, we can actually walk under the robot yeah. and... Uh, That's a question, have you ever walked under a machining centre? Should we do that? Let's go. So Dave, if you could come and join us, Dave. Now we're walking underneath a robot cell here that's feeding um, this machine tool. Why is it loading the machine from the top? And what advantages do you get of having this space underneath the machine? Well, that's, that's exactly the thing. I mean, usually with automate, auto, robot systems, you would have full guards around the system. You can't get easy access. I mean, it's, it's, everything's kept above, so you can access the machine from the front. Um, so you, you've got full accessibility, so you're not losing any floor space at all, really. So you, you're not blocked off by any guarded area, anything like that. So. Well, we're seeing an, a, a nice range and portfolio of machine tools that you're exhibiting here at AMB, but can you tell me a little bit about the BA0622? Yeah, so like the uh, W02 machine that we discussed earlier, this is a, a linear drive machine, so you get 
very, it's very dynamic. You get very fast acceleration rates on there. You look at like 2G acceleration rates. You've got a rapid feed rate of 120 meters a minute on there. So um, it's for very precise parts. You can have between one and four spindles on the machine. You can have one and two tables as well. So this is the, the twin table machine. So again, it's for high volume, high production, high precision as well. It's, at the minute, we've got the Stata housings on there. So there's some very tight tolerances on those parts and this machine just handles it perfectly. So hey, thank you very much. So there you have it from the SW stand. I'm gonna just go and uh, finish off with Tom. I think we can walk around here and just see some of the components that are being showcased in reception. What a stand, what a machine tool builder, some great components over there. Um, Tom that are being exhibited that you know are kind of bread and butter for these types of machine tools they've paid a real um, lot of attention to automation as well what have you got from this stand Tom? Well you can just see with some of the parts are exhibiting that big parts for these machines are just nothing they're easy to load they're easy to program with the Siemens control and like I said with putting robots in different places it's made automation just so much easier for them Absolutely. So there you are from the SW stand at a and 2022. A little bit of a walkthrough and an insight into what they do.